better. He better. He better. He better. He better. What are they? Oh, oh. oh, oh they, they, yeah, they're picking the controller. Makes sense. Now, and while they're picking the controllers, for any of you out there looking to buy a pro controller, uh, ah, you forgot the beat. I forgot a lot of stuff. Uh, <laughs> pro, pro control, switch pro controller. In Sweden, you can get them now for as low as that fancy, right? Uh, yes, they are that big. Sometimes they cost almost 700 uh, Swedish crowns. Yeah, they cost 700. But anyway, we're going back into the game now. Um, yeah, and we have Mario and Ganonor from the Diva uh, Specialist. specialist. Well, I mean, and Dagen Logistics has Palutena and Falco on, right, on Pokemon Stadium 2. Right, yeah, and uh, right, because Logistics played. Um, Palutena yesterday. All right. Yeah. He did. And I can say if I like if I was playing Ganondorf, I'd probably consider myself a B button specialist as well. Um, but let's see here. They can actually. I actually oh. expected the uh, joint to play Simon because like all of his projectiles are all B buttons. So. Oh yeah. <laughs> that. Right. Yeah. It actually. Like, yeah, but actually, it's kind of annoying for his teammates because mm. Ganondorf has the have any projectiles, so he, he gets hits kind of. And he Ganon kind of distracting. Yeah, and, and Ganondorf himself isn't a very mobile character, so if someone starts throwing projectiles around, uh, he's going to have a hard time navigating around those. In fact, projectiles is one of the best ways of dealing with Ganondorf. Yeah. Uh, and there, however, he gets the boot to Logisticus. Logisticus almost he dies. He got the low boot. That's low boot. Uh, yeah, right, that was the dash attack, and dash attack is crazy powerful now. Mm, yeah, like there are so many, and so many characters have gotten really devastating uh, dash attacks in this game. Uh, Roy as well. Yeah, like, Pikachu's worries. always been able to kill with his dash attack, but uh, like even now, now that trend just continues, adding on to the number of crazy dash attacks. So far, it's going pretty well for for the B button specialist actually, despite uh, Ganondorf's inherent weakness of being a slow character. He is actually getting a lot of mileage, and uh, yeah. Logisticus is being very sparse with his projectiles, which I guess he has to be with such an like with a character like Mario on the field. You can't really. You, it, like it gets hard to play around Ganondorf's weaknesses in a way yeah. because Mario if, if you start trying to space out Ganondorf Mario is fast enough to punish you for your slower projectiles that help you keep a distance from Ganondorf yeah. oh my god he nice did. up tilt there yeah that was very nice of all the guess guess there the guess guess oh, the job because they're keeping his teammate grounded oh Mantle is trying to beat. They've very much trying to punish someone yeah they've very well managed to corner uh, B button specialist now yeah, they're all very cornered right here. Yeah, and doing, doing a lot of damage to them, getting a lot of pressure on them. In fact, oh. the beat button specialists are actually like reeling to regain control of this fight. Uh, they've managed to equal uh, up. He tried to punish with the up smash. Oh, the up smash! Oh, and he has to get the every, same feel. He, oh my god. Oh, the up smash hits everything he didn't want for Christmas. And now they've got to they got to struggle back from a one-one position, and they're like both of the opposing, te uh, opposing teams have two stocks. Yeah, this is very really interesting how it's gonna play out. Yeah, I the thing is like what what the um, what Stig and Logisticus have do, have done now that have, have, have done, adapted very well is that they've started like uh, they start playing a little bit with a little bit more with projectiles at least in the case of Falco here uh, managed to rack up quite a few percents on Ganondorf and actually managing to put some pressure on there and now even like now Stig is down one health though but oh and he's in the yeah, Mario I'm combo game. He got the Mario Kombat game. The uppers. Oh. Devastating up. Oh, oh, and then perfect shield enough. to save himself from his teammate. But yeah, the air enough. the air kicks oh. though. Oh. Managed oh. to put some pressure on the Gist and the Gisticus is a having a hard time landing in back throw from Mario. Puts oh. him in a danger zone with uh, Ganondorf. Ganondorf doesn't opt for punishment of any kind, instead tries to stay alive with one stock. I think that's the wise move, but no. the down spike takes it! Oh my god! And the Gisticus gets back! He was under the level. That is a that is very impressive from the Gisticus and Stig. Yeah, definitely a very impressive oh, game there. Oh, and that was a nice stream. Nice, uh, nice team combo there, and yeah. down oh. goes the plumber yeah. into the underworld. And one po first match goes to Stieg and Logisticus. Apparently, you need more buttons than the B to win a game. Like, what would you uh, suggest then? Well, uh, how about the A button? How about the C stick? Yeah, it was game one. Alright, I never said give two fights. 
Yeah, no, it's game, this, this was game one. When yeah, I know. Yeah. I just... I never said that. Like. I don't know. I'm okay. confused. Anyway, anyway, let's go, let's move on. Yeah, uh, let's move on. I, th I think he just might have forgotten where we were. Uh, so, yeah. Okay. Um, but yeah. Let's see here. They're moving on into game two, and I think now yeah. it's time to counterpick. Uh, or they get a counterpick now. And are they actually going to Skyward? Nah, they're just like thinking, so they're just yeah. gonna pick a random stage because I don't think. Because they should turn a slime engine. Doesn't matter when it's constant doubles. Yeah, 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 yeah. exactly. Counterpicks aren't as. Uh, they don't have as much of an impact in uh, in doubles in general because. Oh, and Snake goes with. Um, with Snake now. Mm. Yeah, Ventral and goes with Snake. Yeah. So the other team's com the other team composition is fine. I guess they just noticed some inherent weaknesses with Ganondorf in trying in being a bit unable to get in, and they did lack a lot in the zoning game. Yeah. But I think uh, Snake is going to cover cover up that weakness. Definitely. I think that yeah. I think the angle of picking Snake here is trying to get a bit more like being able to put a bit more pressure and answer some of the threats that are. Uh, that Falco, for example, present, and the, what was that fireball from uh, Palutena? Oh. Uh, the big ball. Oh, the big ball. Yeah, yeah. Uh, explosive flame. It's explosive, explosive flame, that's what it's called. Yeah. Mm. Oh, but she's in the Mario combo game now, though. Yeah. Dang, uh, teleports out of it, doesn't want any of that. Nah. She does some. Oh, uh, no. Oh, nice punish on the get tr mental trying to get away there. Mario trying to go, uh, jump after and save his friend, but unfortunately, Steve doesn't let that happen. Logisticus, however, gets forward smashed by Mario? Yeah, I think. Yeah, I think it, that happened. So. And, oh, oh, that was nice right. on Vendel. It's fine, it's fine. Logisticus got, Logistic, Logisticus got this. Yeah. Oh, forward smash, oh, though. Yeah. What is up with that hitbox? That was a crazy... He was, like, yeah, on the platform. Big, that that's, hitbox is very big. Yeah, right. He was, like, on the platform almost and still got knocked out. And oh. now it comes the projectile. Steve not managing to get a punish instead oh. of anticipating. Ah, but the mine! Yeah, the mine. That was very nice. Yeah, I did not see that coming at all. Yeah. Oh. Oh, and for, oh, an explosive flame to, to a answer the mortar from the snake. Hand grenade sets Mario flying as well. Now it's time to. Oh, will he be able to get a punish? He does. Mario yeah. didn't quite save his friend and. Trade in the air, setting Mario flying downward. Mario applying more pressure here. Yeah. Mario, you only get very more pressure. And Ooh. oh, gets both of them and even managed to and kill. And that was him. a nice. Oh, that was oh, a he could have buried him. Match. That was everything you wanted. Oh, but oh, whatever. Wow. Everyone ran into death. Wow, Logisticus putting him. Except for him. Snake. Except, Except for Snake putting like. Dude, sure, he got a kill on Mario there, but he put every part of his team back. They are working from a complete and total underdog situation here. Mario is one stock up and barely taking any damage. Mental, sure, he's taking a bit of damage, quite, uh, quite a bit, but he's not like, like he's yeah. not really letting them get a drop on him. And Mario keeps applying, but the yeah. back air. Yeah, Franco gets the back. He gets the back air on uh, Mental. Mm. Applying some, applying yeah. a bit of pressure. Oh. oh, and now Mario tells him he ain't it's gonna let that. The plumber is backing up the military. The, pl yeah. the military has the plumber on their side. Mario jumps right into there and try. Uh, we'll do it like a snake. Code is like. Kyle, I need a plumber. I need a plumber. This is a code word. Wait, let me try the hang your thing. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right, all right, let's wait, yeah. let's focus oh. on the game now. Oh, but now oh, I think uh, the guess has actually buried him. Shit, but now it's just Logisticus versus Mental and yeah. Yoink. And I mean, not. It's gonna be. Hard. He could have a chance if it was just. Yeah, like, I, he'd have an even chance if it was him against Mental at this stage, but yeah. Yoink is up two. Like, he's two stocks. Yeah, but it, it's at very high percent, so. Mm, yeah, sure, but like, the Logisticus has to play an incredibly strong zoning game here, because you can't just go for clean combos in this game. One of the. Like, if you start comboing the other character. The other guy, uh, the other guy, the teammate is gonna start getting you. And yeah, I think. Uh, wait, I think he planted. It. He planted no! it. He for it. I knew it. You, he planted on it. You dirty son of a bitch. Hey, he's Mental. What are you doing? That is yeah. very, Jabba very smart. I, like, I saw actually when he 
he did the animation like he has plans, right? Uh -huh. Oh my god, they did plans on. Like, like, oh my god, that was actually nice of you. That never, was very nice. You can never be safe. Never safe with snakes in the game. Yeah, never. Wow. Alright, so like, now it's 1-1. One, one. B-Button Specialist versus Stegolagus. Uh, yeah, how would you rate their synergy, synergy on both teams? Mm. Honestly, when it comes to the synergy, I feel like both teams are like, it's, it's up and down for both teams, but I feel like Logisticus and uh, Logisticus and Steed, at yeah. least they they've got something where they sort of s try to stay out of each other's um, attacks. Uh, we had some examples there earlier of Logisticus getting a bit greedy. For example, the up smash yeah. where he killed Steed. He got very greedy. That was very greedy, and uh, unfortunately his team suffered for it. Uh, but uh, what I what I felt uh, what I felt was there, like they had a better sort of staying out of their each other's game, but I don't feel like they necessarily had a group combo game uh, as strong as per, uh, as strong as perhaps B Button Specialist. I feel like yeah, B Button Specialist has a better combo game. So. Exactly, they, they had more of a co uh, individual combo game, stronger individual combo game, a stronger group combo game. Uh, but they, however, put each other at risk more often than uh, Steven Logisticus. I feel Steven Logisticus aren't necessarily playing around each other's strengths. They're trying to sort of avoid each other's weaknesses instead, um, which like it's sort of like it can net you a win, but you're more playing around the not losing strategy, um, uh, taking less, ri perhaps taking less risks, and, uh, unless those, um, like apart from those moments when they start getting a bit greedy. But now we're moving on into the next game with a fair slugfest so far, just one on one, spread out across the level. Logisticus almost taking, uh, almost taking a stock there. For losing a stock there. Oh, nice though. That was what, that's what I want to see more oh of. Oh my god! Why did Steve die? Didn't he have? I mean, no, he wasn't in fast free fall or anything. He was like, he forgot to he use the B button. Yeah, he must have forgot. That's the. They're not B button oh, so specialists. Oh, so they. Yeah, right. Okay, but uh, seeing the these are each down by one stock and. Yeah, they're each down by one stock. I mean, yeah. we saw we saw the beginning of some really good group combos there. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. unfortunately, Steve uh, Steve sort of lost it and uh, unfortunately paid with his life. Oh, uh, is he gonna spike? Uh, oh, he's gonna try to. Oh yeah. Yeah, this is very scary. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's see. Well, let's see here. Because they are both of them, uh, like uh, Snake and Mario, are up on so high percentages that they can't. Oh, there comes the back air. Just oh what they my needed. God. But the recovery on mental though or on stake is so crazy. They have to actually get like a really strong. They have to get like a forward smash or something, or if uh, he can add another. And there though. Oh my God! He got the up. That was the up special. Yeah, he got the uh, he got the up uh, Mario up combo, and yeah. I mean, there's not a lot you can do if Mario starts getting oh, down. Oh wow! Yeah, no, like, he just takes out uh, mental with the dash nice. The Palutena does have a pretty nasty dash attack, but like, how high was Mental? Like, he was at 180%, 170? Yeah, 180, I think. Something crazy like yeah, that. Yeah, he was at very high. Yeah, and like, Logisticus, are gonna, Logisticus and uh, Steve, they're gonna have to find faster, sooner ways of killing uh, of killing Mental. That, yeah. Oh, and oh. there goes Steve. They're both down yeah. to one stock piece. This is very scary now for Logisticus mm. and Steve. This is a crazy good adaption. Like they went from Ganondorf and t uh, picked Snake instead, and definitely seeing that pay off. Now that like in the both subsequent games, they have had a, like an immensely better uh, combo game, and they're really, really getting mileage out of uh, out of projectiles. Even though Snake isn't playing really hard around them. Yeah, he's just like lost around it a lot. Yeah, he's playing Snake very much like uh, a sort of uh, just like. Just uh, yeah, exactly. But like, he's also playing very uh, Snake very much like sort of the pressure character. And Snake, he does have the ability to be sort of an up close slugger and uh, a zoner character. He has like a bit of both. But you definitely see what Mental prefers. Like Mental coming from Ganondorf is probably more comfortable with an up close pressure game. Um, uh, oh, oh, oh the wow. read. Oh, and he just and he dropped the he mine. Back to the He's that is scary. Oh, but the back here though. Oh wow, he killed Mario. Yeah, Mario is actually down to one stock. And if it wasn't for the fact that... Uh, Falcon... Oh, the... No, he oh. survives this. I yeah, oh, he oh, he... oh, but the mine, they forgot about the mine. He got, they forgot about the C4. That's the second time uh, Palutena loses her, C4. loses her last stock to the C4. Oh. And the down A. There was, yeah. 
That was slick. That was slick. He he planned every step of that and just put him in his place. 